Lou. New at this hour, you'll hear from the chair of the Homelessness and Poverty Committee for City Council. As far as the anti-camping ordinance, which goes into effect officially today, what exactly will change right away for encampments like the one behind me potentially? Well, not much. Uh, according to a joint statement from the City Council President, the Mayor, and the LAPD, only violations of the Americans with Disability Acts and some key obstructions will be enforced right away. So key details still need to be worked out. That's why backing up the anti-camping ordinance, you'll often hear it referred to as 4118. It provides the framework and process to prohibit homeless encampments, or more specifically, sitting, lying, sleeping, and storing property in a number of areas like schools and parks. A major part of this ordinance, though, is the street engagement, the outreach teams that are going to connect people with housing and services prior to any enforcement. Well, that street engagement strategy is still working its way through city council. It needs to be approved before this ordinance is fully implemented. That vote's expected in two weeks. Chair of the Homelessness and Poverty Committee tells me he feels like it could have and should have been done by now. He says partly it's bureaucracy that's been the holdup. Part of it is getting to consensus with the council, but here's why he says it matters. If we don't do the street engagement work, as a predicate to 4118, we will simply be shuffling homeless people from one end of the city to the next, from one council district to the next. And that is not an effective way to address the crisis. All right, so let me go ahead and put up some information for you on your screen. So once everything is in place, here are some of the areas that could be off limits. Uh, do we have that? For many of the sites, city council members must select areas specifically where they want the new law to apply and get them approved by the city council. Some need to be a public health or safety hazard to qualify. Then once the area is approved, signs have to go up for 14 days at least to give people notice that there's going to be enforcement there. And the toughest penalties are infractions. Now back out here live, one council member, Joe Buscay, you know, who's also running for mayor, he's already saying this ordinance does not go far enough in his view. He is working to get a broader measure on the ballot for voters to vote on, he's hoping, by June or in June. For now, that's the latest live here in Metro Park. I'll send it back to you.